Hey, Sneakers, back again in the house, back in the house, back in the house. But right, today we've got another distro that doesn't get enough love, baby. This is Salix, okay? Slackware based. A bit different from the usual, yeah? So I thought, I haven't done it for such a long time, and we've got plenty of hardware now to do all these machines, uh, all these distros on, should I say. And we'll start off with Salix, which I haven't done for donkeys of donkeys years, okay? So this is the XFCE version. Installed to the hard drive, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll show you, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll open up the file system. As you can see, we've got a gig ter what, terabyte drive in here. Yeah, I have, yeah. Nice and big, yeah. And there's all them in there. So you've got usual in your file manager, desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, templates, and public. Thank you. All right, let's have a look. Right, this is the basic desktop you get. It's nice, XFCE. A bit of old school, but you can customise it quite a bit, really, XFCE. It's my desktop to go to, really, because it just gets the job done. Yeah. So this is what you get on your desktop. You get your waste basket, your file system, your home, you get a link for Salix IRC support, a Salix Online, which we're going to have a look at right now. Okay. And it just tells you about it, really. I'll have a bit of drinkage while I'm waiting. Hang on. Mmm. Mmm, peppermint tea. This is about Salix, blah, blah, blah. Linux for the lazy slacker. I mean, because slackware sometimes can be a bit of a pain. This is an easy way to do it. And you get three optimised solutions to do it. You get basic, minimal, or full, or something. Oh, sorry, core, they call it now. Don't call it minimal anymore. Just the minimal for console system, so you, you have to build it yourself, basically. Basic, you just get just a couple of applications and everything. You get everything. Now, Salix, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever used it before. A lot of, a lot of you won't have used this whatsoever. You get one application per task. So if you want something to write a letter with, you just get LibreOffice. You won't get loads. If you just want something to play music with, you'll just get one. It's entirely up to you what you choose. But you have to deal with what they give you. So if it comes with rhythm box or whatever, you have to get rid of that and put the one you want in. We don't have to, but that's the idea behind it all. Okay. Comes in 32 and 64 bit. This is a 64 bit, of course. Now, this is bearing, bearing in mind this is running on a 10 year old CPU. Yeah. I found out how old the Q6600 was the other day. Sorry, a bit earlier. 2007 it was released, first quarter, so it's exactly 10 years old now. I know. I know. Runs super fine. And I'm recording it on the desktop as it is, using a simple screen recorder, as you can see down there, by the little red blob. My little red blob. Anyway, quickly go through it with you. It is really fast. What I'm going to say, it's really fast to use. I don't know why it wasn't last time. Now, previously, <clears throat> when using the Salix or Slackware based systems, this includes some of the PUP stuff. Recording could be a bit of a pain, but now that's all seems to be done with a new kernel. So super duper. And your menu, menu, menu is a basic terminal. Any later, the file manager, your mail reader, and your web browser. Okay, which is the Fox here by default. I've actually put Firefox on. I, it doesn't come by default. I just put it on the desktop because I felt like it basically. Go to settings, the usual accessibility, appearance, you can change all them. Bloody 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 blah blah. XFC. So you know what it looks like. Okay. So if I right click and go to desktop settings, in theory we should get some nice Salix wallpapers, which we do. Yeah. Remember oh, I remember that one. Now do you remember that one? We'll go. I tell you what, we'll go that one. Yeah, okay, go there. Hello, little penguin. Yeah, it was a bit green though. We'll change that again. Hang on. Go back to desktop settings again. We'll change it for something a bit different. Some of the really old school Salix stuff down here as well. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay. There we go. Super duper. We'll go with that one for now. Okay. Now, where was I? I got taken off track there, didn't I? Oh, no. Okay. Accessories. All usual you could think of. Leaf pad. Calculator. Orage. Remember I done that wrong the other day? Orage. Take a screenshot. Your task manager. Open him up. Just tells me what I'm doing. Using half my CPU at the moment. Well, it would do. It's 10 years old. But it's handling it really, really easily. So, no big deal. I like it. Get rid of that. Okay. Next on the agenda. Should I do more accessories? No, I won't. Under development, you get Genie, Meld, and a load of QT stuff. Okay, if you want to do stuff like that. Education, don't get nothing in there. LibreOffice Math, of course, but that comes with the Education Suite or the, <coughs> the LibreOffice Suite, should I say. Right. Under Graphics, Gimpage is here by default. Okay, shall we see how fast it is? I've not opened it since I've started recording, so gives you a real-world test. Seems all right, doesn't it? Super fine. Don't mind that at all. Another little... Oh, really nice, isn't it? Mmm, and hot. And there's our gimpage opened up all super, super duper fine. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Also, in there, you get Simple Scan and Vinoir. Got you other stuff. 
under internet. Get server browser, <coughs> VNC server browser. Clause mail is your default. You can change it to something else if you want to. And Fox is your browser, as I said before. GFTP, pigeon transmission under multimedia. Asunder, of course. So, maybe use Asunder. I'll use it all the time. Oh, Asunder, yeah, I like it. Basically, put your CD in, rip it, onto your disc it goes. See you later. Okay. Next in the menu. Under, get more under multimedia. Xhow is your basic multimedia player here. Uh, and if you use Xhow, some of you do, I know, and some of you don't. But hey, there it comes. Nice. There you go. It's actually quite... I don't use it very often, but I do want to use some pups sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, it does get the job done. One application per task, as they say. Also, you get an option to install multimedia codecs. Now, I've already done that to make sure everything's running hunky-dory, but it just does all the codecs for you, and you have to click OK, and if you agree, because, of course, in some countries, you're not allowed. It's against the law, of course. Make your own ISO. Parole for another media player. Pulse audio volume control to do your pulse stuff. See my screen club report. VLC I to install, because uh, when you're doing some stuff, it won't play back on parole. And XF burn, which I really like. I use it more and more now. I really, really do. I used to use K3B all the time, and it started monging out. And I thought, nah, we'll try and find something else, and XF Burn does the job. Okay, under Office, the full LibreOffice suite, and Orage, of course. And under System, what else could you think of? G part of course. G Slap Package Manager, we'll come back to in just a moment. Your new login, new login window in a window, repository mirror, build your own Slack Manager, blah, 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 System Services, Task Manager, etc., etc., etc. About XFCE, I'll click that for you. Tells you all about it and who makes it. This is 412, so that's all right. Yeah, that's what it says. Close. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is the package manager, which is a little bit different from all the others. All right. Okay, so we go back down to system. Go to the G slapped package manager. Yeah, okay. What's my password, of course, because we're doing something to the system. Click OK, and up it should come in full screen in theory. There we go. So here you just search for what you want, really. There's no hints of where you want to go. It's a basic package manager, a bit like Synaptic in some respects, you know? So it'll do, it'll do wouldn't it? It will do. So say, for instance, I'm just going to install something that you'll know, uh, Inkscape. Let's try that. Excuse me. Yep. And we'll see what comes up. And there we are. Inkscape is there. So we'll install it. This is how we do it. As in Synaptic, you just click there, install, and execute. Oh, do you want a description first? Community orientation development. Okay. Tells you what dependencies it needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it'll install them for you anyway. Okay. So then we click execute. Two newly installed, none to be removed, none to be upgraded. It will take up 63 megs after it's downloaded. So we'll OK that. And off he goes. And off it goes installing. In theory, that should be almost done, and we're done. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? See? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So if I now go down to graphics, we should... Ah! Ooh, where's that gone? See, it should be there. So if I type here... Why this... Uh, ah, there we are. It should launch it for us. Let's have a look. While it's thinking about doing that, there we go. And there's Inkscape for us. That's what it says on the tin. Yeah. It does. Let's do a spray painting. Got to choose colour. Don't want to do it. Okay, choose colour first. And then we'll go. Oh no, I won't. Well, okay. No, I don't want to do it. Hmm. Alright. I've been called a liar, but then I've not used it for such a long time, I'm probably doing it wrong. So don't take no notice of me. Okay. Okay. Salix. If you want something different, Super fast, will run on old machines as well, not just new machines. I mean, if you put it on a new machine, it goes, whoosh over the top. It would go like that. No, it really would. No, really, it would. I'm going to put that one on. This is really bright and make you blind. So, yes, Salix, this is a laser version. You can get with different desktops if you want to, 64 or 32 bit. Go to the site, have a little go. Nice, sneaky Linux going out. I see those. Bye bye. -bye. Thank you.